Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the Park Bench. And you're going to see uh, slowly less and less of my head, I think, because of the way we've had to balance the camera. <laughs> the camera's going to steadily start slumping, isn't it? It's balanced on my rucksack, uh, my wallet, and some chewing gum. As, as seems to happen regularly, I'm providing second camera on the bench here because uh, that is, that's the current view there and the, the lovely roof of the National Theatre. Bye bye, coat. I'm sure <coughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> We're on a windy concrete rooftop in central London. Because <laughs> we got kicked out of the park we were in before. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we do this in the studio, Matt? Why? <laughs> so today we are talking about uh, your, your, your public mm. impression. Yeah, because getting used to your own face and voice and mannerisms on camera. And, and I have some unhelpful advice on public speaking. Because a lot, lots of people seem to find it difficult, you know, hearing recordings of themselves. Yeah. Uh, for me, that hasn't normally been much of a problem, especially with this. Yeah. I suppose for these videos and for Citation Needed as well, I'm just sat here being me. <laughs> yeah, that's We've true. got a topic we're chatting about, but I'm still just being Do me. Do you not find that your voice is different, though, than the one you hear in your head? Because now, now I don't notice that. I'm used to having the inner voice and the outer voice. But I remember way, way back, first time I did university radio, mm. first time I had my voice in a proper microphone, I think I was reading the news. Um, firstly, I got told I was too Radio 4. <laughs> um, because I, w I was not reading the news in a Radio 1 university radio manner. I was reading it in a BBC 4 radio voice manner. <laughs> this, the sort of thing where I know, I know you freak out when I get close to the mic. But can I get a bit closer to the mic? You can get a bit closer, but don't okay. get any closer than this. Okay. I was talking like this, as if I was on BBC Four. And not like this, as if I was on BBC Radio One. <laughs> uh, and I got told in no uncertain terms, if I wanted to read the news on URY, I would need to change that style of it. Mm. But my voice was a lot higher than I thought it was. Huh. Like, if I, I, I don't think I've got the files anymore, but if you go back to my first year on University Radio, my voice is literally, it's all in the front of it. So, linguistics. All in the front of my mouth, just hit, ra <coughs> rather than being back in my throat, it's at the front of my mouth, yeah. and it's a, it's a lot higher. It's maybe half an up. There's no, no bass going on, no back of the throat or anything like that. It's all, it's all in the front, just here. Yeah, it's all the bassy stuff that you can hear through your bones into your head, isn't it? Yeah, so <coughs> ten years later, I've learned to use my throat and range and, and all that. But it took time. I, I find if, if I listen to something unlike this where I am just chatting and happen to be holding a mic if, I, if I'm talking into a mic like if I'm uh, talking on the radio or on Citation Needed when I'm wearing headphones when we've done that in radio studios before I, I, I do have a radio voice yeah. because I can hear myself in my headphones so I correct my mic you know I, I change how I'm speaking to make it sound nicer to my ears um, whereas this I can just hear me normally so I'm just talking normally we did get a few comments on that that uh, did it not speech jam you? Listening to your own voice right away? No, there's no delay. Right, yeah, that's what, that's what I figured. Because like, if I listen to my own voice immediately, it doesn't jam me. Yeah. But that any slight delay will just completely... At work on the radio, um, in, in the olden days, people would listen to themselves off the FM radio. Yeah, because there's so you, no Because you, 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 you want to hear what you're doing on, on, on air, you want to hear it as the listener hears it. These days... Um, they generally don't hear directly off there because everything's digital now, so there's a little bit of delay. So all the mic processing, station processing, adds more and more and more delay. And by the point you've got coming up to half a second of delay, you're hearing it so late in your ears that your brain's already thinking about the next thing, but because you're still hearing what you said before, you slow down. Your brain slows down what you're saying because it's waiting for it to hear it back. The uh, sidebar on that, by the way, have you noticed that delay on live news broadcasts has gotten worse in the last 10 years? How do you mean? So if you look at a 24-hour news channel now, if it was about 10 years ago, they go live to someone on the scene, and maybe it's 10, 15 years now, but it would have a pre-booked satellite connection, and it would be a as-live, standard-definition video feed just being dumped over a satellite. Yeah. But now, because they're using compression and internet routing and everything like that, there's actually a longer delay. It's great quality, it's high definition. Yeah. But there's now three or four seconds delay where once they used to be half. Um, a lot, several times when we've got high delay links, mm. uh, rather than sending a high quality link back, um, so the, the, there is delay in two portions of it. There's the delay in someone talking to someone on a remote... 
Matt works as a broadcast engineer for a radio station. Just those who are coming in late. And I do video as well. Yeah. Um, if you've got um, a, a remote interview, there is delay in both ends of the connection. There's a delay for them being able to hear you and for you being able to hear and see them. Uh, one way that they can speed that up a bit is to use a normal phone call because uh. that's a direct point-to-point -point link, whereas stuff over the internet yeah. has encoding delays and routing delays and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, buffering and all that stuff. Uh, so the person at the other end could be hearing a really terrible quality phone call while you're getting full HD video yeah. coming back. All right. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Speech. So backtrack. <laughs> De satellite delays, speech jamming, your own voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have different voices then for different situations. Not intentionally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's when I'm trying to, when I'm subconsciously trying to enunciate, I go a little bit more RP for whatever reason. Pronunciation. BBC um, uh, Someone in the office noticed that I was leaving a, a voicemail uh, answering thing um, for something listeners would be ringing into and they said, I put the phone down, I looked up and everyone was looking at me and went, they went, you have a telephone voice. <laughs> like, do I? And I you thought, totally do. Oh, I was, I was enunciating, wasn't I? Because yeah. I... I know I, I don't speak particularly clearly all the time because people say pardon, especially um, people who aren't from the UK or from particularly stronger accented parts of the UK can find it harder to hear what I'm saying, especially in the US. I, I get I, I, I have to stop time. myself from translating for you because it's really annoying. Oh, I guess so annoying. I you know. make me look like some kind of idiot. <laughs> I, I realise I am an idiot, but I can I can cover for my own mistakes. <laughs> you know, when you're like uh, minding an alien, uh, and and someone no. says what pardon, no, no, and then no, you go no. what he actually means is oh I can say that again. I know I'm how sorry. to rephrase. I'm sorry, no, I don't know what it's like minding an alien. I have never minded an alien. Really? Do you want to translate that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out, and I'll have to link to the other... Would you mind? That is <laughs> definitely speeding. Um, I'm going to have to link to the article uh, that told me this. There was actually a BBC pronunciation like committee in the early days of broadcasting <laughs> that was deciding not only which you know which words which uh, accents to use, which dialects to use, but also which words to use. Like the word th broadcast had not been invented. I think I read this. Yeah. Didn't they go rogue? Yeah, basically. They came up with some words for yeah. like broadcast and yeah, television and viewers. And, and then they started finding more words. Yes. Uh, went beyond their remit. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. so yeah, when I when I'm wearing headphones listening to myself or on on a good quality microphone when I'm hearing myself, I I generally mm -hmm. do that. If if it's this, it's more of a chat. I'm more like me. I'm still a bit louder. I'm still projecting so you can hear me. Yeah. Uh, which took some getting used to. But I, I think the only time I struggle with hearing myself back is if I am overly presenting a thing. Yeah. Which I haven't done in a while. You'll see me um, if you ever if you ever something like this. You, well, words. That was good, Tom. Do you want to start that again? Uh, if you ever edit like a long vocal take of me. I will start by enunciating like this, but by the time I'm about halfway oh, through, off I'll complete, tail off yeah. and go back into the regular speaking voice. <laughs> it takes so much effort to yeah. do that. Um, we, uh, which brings me to my unhelpful advice on public speaking. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, by the way, I didn't... like Tom's advice on public speaking, bad title. Tom's unhelpful advice on public... Under promise... Over deliver. Because <laughs> the only advice I've got is keep doing it. There is no substitution for hearing your own voice back and cringing at it, like I did all those years ago on URY. I went, oh, I'm going to have to try and fix that. And not by deliberately doing it, it's just over time you cringe at your own voice less and you work out what works. And you know how to use... It's, it's an, more muscles in your body that you have to train Yeah. and learn how to use and... Yeah. Um, yeah. As for your face, you just got to get used to that. Oh, there's n <laughs> nothing you can do about your face. You just got to be happy within yourself. <laughs>
today on Can You Still See Matt Gray's Head? Yes, you can. Yes. The chewing gum, wallet and bottle of water and rucksack have held up. I'm fine. Unlike Tom. I'm fine.